Hey everyone, Gary Simon, of course, Cetro. So today we have an exciting one because we're gonna be creating a landing page in Adobe XD using a product called Images360 from yellowimages.com. So let me show you what I'm talking about. These are PNG images that are spinnable objects with perfect transparency. So let's say for instance, uh, we want an asset that's uh, based on food or something like that. Well, we have 500 items that actually came up for this and look at all of these results. Now, what's really cool is some of these are low poly versions of food, like look at this hamburger, um, and some are completely realistic looking. And when you click on it, it will automatically load up all the different angles and you can choose which angle you want based on your given project, which could be like a poster design, print design, uh, or even for uh, landing pages. And then you just choose download. If you download the items without subscription, there will be a watermark over this, but if you wanna join and get access to watermark free assets, then use my promo code below and get a 50% discount on any type of subscription. Also, if you cannot find an item you need, Yellow Images can produce it for you. They also have object mockups, which provides you with JPGs or PSDs for Photoshop, which you can add your own designs, and also a creative store that has a massive amount of various graphic assets for different purposes and different projects. Also, real quick, another thing that you can use is if you're using Photoshop, you can download the free Photoshop add-on so that you can search through and also add in your images that way. So this is what we're gonna be creating. I'm gonna be creating, uh, I'm not gonna show you right now, so don't skip forward, don't fast forward through the video because we're gonna create a really cool landing page based on using these assets. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm here in Adobe Experience Design, which is what I'm gonna to use to create this uh, little landing page section and I just have a web 1920 preset open. Obviously, there's nothing on it. So I was thinking just having some sort of isometric 3D building landscape sort of thing happening here. I don't really know what for what purpose, but we'll find out shortly. All right, so I, here I am at uh, Yellow Images. You wanna click on the Images 360 in order to get access to these. And I think they're just uh, sorting these based on recently added. We have 2,450. Uh, 56 items, quite a bit. I'm just gonna type in building. So let's see what we have here. Tons of buildings. Uh, we have three pages of buildings. Very, very cool. So um, I'm just gonna pick one, maybe this one. It's a, it's a typical standard looking building and, and now it's building out all of the, uh, the PNG images so that we can actually rotate it around as if it were a 3D object. Very, very cool. So I think, I like this one. And it notice it has a camera angle of V2 and H15, all right? So um, a lot of these other buildings, uh, in order to get them in the correct alignment with each other, um, you can follow this sort of format uh, just to make things consistent, all right? So at this point, you could either choose a transparent PNG or a JPEG. Um, I'm just gonna do a uh, transparent PNG here, and then um, it's gonna save it to your computer, and then I'll just drag it into uh, the composition in Adobe XD. All right, so um, I'm gonna drag that over here, and you're gonna find that it is quite massive. So if you hold Alt and then your scroll wheel, you can just get this over here, hit Shift and Alt, scale it down to a more reasonable size. All right, and we'll make that bigger actually. And I'll say something right around here. We can always just uh, um, adjust these afterwards in terms of this scale and all that stuff. So let's add another building, maybe um, one or two more. So I'm gonna go back here to my editor or my browser if I can find it. There we go. And we'll add another one. Um, let's see, something that'll fit in right with it. Um, how about this corner sort of building? All right. Um, I think this is actually in the correct orientation as it is. Uh, yeah, right there seems to be good. Um, if, the, if it's not, we can always just adjust it. I think this is how I do want it to be. It'll be like a facing directly at us. And so that other building will be right here. So I'm gonna download that and get that in there as well. Nice, it will fit perfectly. Obviously it's a little bit too big so we can just scale it down further. It's kind of like half the height. Here we go. There's like a tiny section in between. Awesome. I think I'll add one more and I saw a bank uh, that was right next to it. So right here, we'll take this. 
I think this is a good angle right here. Yep. Now, obviously in this case, we need to adjust the uh, layer order. So I'll right click, arrange, send uh, to back. Nice. Now it needs to be a little bit bigger. Um, let's see here, let's get this positioned. All right, cool, I like that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so now, um, Let's try a few more assets here. Um, I think I want there to be a street here. So I'm gonna design a street um, with my pen tool. Uh, trust me, they're not gonna have a, a street that's gonna fit exactly around these buildings. So we're gonna use the dreaded pen tool to try to create a, a street that just kind of wraps around this. And so it'll be important that we we follow uh, you know, the flow of the buildings here as best we can. All right, so we have kind of a little strange issue. We have this this tiny little road section that's that's coming there. I think um, we're gonna move some things in just real quickly. And I do actually like that. So what we'll do is right click. We're going to arrange and send uh, to back. And then, cause it was overlapping right there. And then we'll go ahead and give us just a solid fill of a very light gray. We don't really want it to be, you know, a focal, you know, something that we're gonna focus on too much. Uh, just realize after screwing out, this needs to come in just a bit, and this will come in, and then this will come in as well. All right, that that's fine. I'm not gonna be too anal about this. So, uh, let's put a uh, let's put a car here. I think. Maybe we'll have somebody robbing the bank uh, if they have the assets uh, that allow us to do that. All right, maybe it to be like a security website of some sort. All right, so let's go back here and let's type in um, cop car. I don't know. Let's see if we get something. Oh, look at that. We can use we can use these these uh, people for sure. Um, there we go. Police car. There we go. And I think this is already in the orientation that we would want it. Yeah, it's pretty much going to work. We'll just have to adjust the road so that it's uh, positioned properly. There we go. There we go. We just have to uh, drag that out slightly. Now let's put a car that, like, I don't know, it's like a robber's car or something that... Um, is being like ascertained by, by the police car or like, we'll put it right here. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll come back to our browser. We'll get, uh, we could just use this car here. This is the right orientation. So I'm just gonna hit download. Oh, this is fun. Look, it's already coming together. Oh, it's like a toy car it's pulling over. No, we should probably make it around the same size, of course. Uh, we'll make it slightly smaller. Sweet, I think that'll work. Um, let's uh, let's add a couple other things. Uh, yeah, the cop, obviously, or the police officer, whatever you want to call him. Um, let's see. Let's do let's do this one. Now this one, wait, what is that? Oh, it's an animated one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, I didn't want that one. Uh, that's not going to work in Adobe XD, so. We're gonna wait for this one to load up and we'll put them in a correct position. Maybe like facing this way. Yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like a, that's so funny. You can just screw around with the, the size of these people and make it look really different, really uh, crazy. Uh, maybe, yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll, um, let's see if they have like a money or cash or something uh, or a safe or something. Um, safe. There we go. We got a safe. We're lucking out here. Um, let's let it for to, to, for it to load for a second. I think that's the angle. Let download. All right. Um, we can like uh, I don't know, put it over here. You know what? Let's just put it on top. Let's put it on top of the car. This dude's like a bodybuilder inside and he was able to get the safe on top. There we go. 
All right, I like that. Let's finish this off. Uh, we can by adding um, some like uh, street lamps or uh, like a uh, maybe red lights or something. Let's try that real quick. Let's get that into size and uh, position. Still way too large. Maybe something like here is more realistic. We'll duplicate it with Control D. I don't know, should I put one over there? Does that make sense? Yeah, we'll do it anyhow. We'll duplicate it, we'll put one right there. This is too fun. We're, bu we're building a city basically. Um, we'll put one right here. Yeah, it's... And then we'll put one right there. Look at that. Awesome. I'm gonna do one final thing just because this is so much fun. I'm going to, uh, we're gonna get a another light in here maybe like that one right there for the uh kind of like an intersection area that we have going okay that's fine all right i think it's 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 complex enough people understand <laughs> exactly what's happening okay so that's uh that's our little illustration now let's make it kind of um i within adobe xd uh we'll make the the building and the different layers of what's happening maybe we'll create three different groups and we'll make them fall in through adobe's new auto animate feature all right, so what I will do is, oh, before we do that though, let's go ahead and we're gonna just add a real quick headline and subheadline for this. So I, I'll type in, so now I, if we want these to animate and fall in, let's go ahead and create, um, we'll do three different groups, I guess. So first we'll have our buildings, all right? So here's building one, two, and three. So if we get out our layers and I hit control G and I type in building, we'll have that. All right, so how about the next one? Um, what else will we do? Actually, for now, we'll just hide this, hide. All right, cool. Um, and then also we'll take Let's see here. All of the lamp things. Um, for for now. And of course we'll have to reposition things after this. This is just gonna be street stuff. We can hide this. And now we're just left with the other three, or four rather. Group that. And we'll call this people. Awesome. So people should be at the top. And let's uh, let's let's bring these two back, and there we go. Awesome. So they're in the right order and the right layer stacks and all that. I uh, just one more final adjustment on this. We're gonna take all three of them and just put opacity. Uh, let's see. We'll do. We'll push it up. So because it's gonna come from the top, and we'll say the opacity is zero. Now we're gonna duplicate it because this is where it's gonna start at, right? So. Um, the first thing that will come in, I guess, will be the street lamps, uh, the street stuff. So um, we'll go into here. We have street stuff, as I so eloquently put, 100%. Move it down. I'd say eh, right around there. All right, so that's the first change that we're going to make. And then we're going to duplicate this. And then we will get our layers back out here. Next part will be the buildings. I mean, it could be the people, but I'm just choosing to make it the buildings. 100%. Push it here. That's good. Then we'll du duplicate this again. And then the final element, which is up here somewhere, is people. Okay. And then... We'll bring this back here. Uh, oh no, wait, we don't want to hide it. We're gonna take it up, there we go, and then down. Awesome, awesome. We're ready. All right, we're ready to prototype this. So this is what you should be left with now. Um, and we go to prototype. We're gonna click on this. We're gonna drag this artboard to the second artboard. The trigger is gonna be a time trigger and we'll have like a, um, let's see, 
um, a 0.7 second delay before this starts. So initially you're just going to see the blank area for 0.7 seconds. And then it's going to be auto animate for the action type. And then for the duration, let's try 0.8 seconds. And we'll leave it at ease out. Let's just try that and give it a shot. Actually, I like, I like that. Awesome. So now let's just uh, go ahead. We'll do the same thing here. It's going to remember the previous settings. So we just do this one more time. Um, oh, one thing we uh, have to adjust is I don't want a delay on this part. So these have to be a, de a zero delay. Okay, there we go. And then same thing with this as well. Play. Look at that. And of course, we could so easily I uh, replicate this with HTML, CSS, uh, and make this just fall in naturally exactly as you see it in this prototype version. So let's check that out one more time. How awesome. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Please check out yellowimages.com and the promo link here in the description in YouTube. And I will see you in a new video very shortly. All right, goodbye.